It is time for another edition of this to draw your beautiful ordinary life. So this is the page we left off on and that's actually pretty funny because <laughs> uh, I actually work for a cabinet company so we I actually build design and build kitchen cabinets and stuff so that's that's cool cool and funny and also I have a hutch like this in my or a china cabinet or whatever you call it in my uh, dining room so yeah this will be fun I think all right let me grab a pencil I'm just gonna grab a random one uh, we'll go We'll go 3B. Okay, draw your own kitchen cupboard or the one you would like to have and fill it with your favorite dishes. I think I'm actually going to draw the one that I have. That would be actually pretty fun. So uh, I'm just gonna go take a quick picture of it so I can have a reference here because I'm not in my kitchen. So be right back. I'm back and I have my photo and let's just get into it. So I guess because it says draw your own, I'm not going to follow their steps like we have been doing in the past. I am just gonna go ahead and jump into my own style, I guess. Uh, yeah, see how that goes. Okay, so I've got it sketched out. Um, it does just say draw. I'm trying to think if if there's any way I can like really amp it up without like doing a full illustration. Um, what if I do like a How thick is this? Uh, that's a bit thick. Let's get a thinner one. Okay, what if we did like a really sketchy uh, line work? And then after that, if it still needs something, I was thinking of maybe just doing one color like just adding one color to the piece so whatever in the piece would be that color do that I think I might do that so let's go ahead and ink I'm gonna ink before I erase because sometimes it's nice to leave the sketch underneath and sometimes it's cleaner if you erase it so let's just go ahead and see Well, I guess that's what it looks like all sketchy and I sort of like it the way it is. I don't think I'm going to add any color and I don't think I'm going to erase the sketch lines. So um, let's quickly put these in there. Yeah, so there it is. I kind of like it. Cool. Let's move on. We usually do two pages in these episodes. So how to draw a table and chairs. Okay. Um, yeah, this one it looks like they want you to do step by step, so let's go ahead and give that a try. And again, they don't use sketching, they just go straight in with the pen. So I guess we will try that. Well, that is the table, the sketched out table. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and color it with uh, pencil crowns. Uh, there's only two colors, so it's not gonna be that exciting. But let's see. Deep green, deep green. Green and green, okay. Then we'll go 
we'll make the chairs this one. And again, like I've said so far in every episode, I really love that they take a very loose approach to drawing. Like, you don't have to be super skilled. You can just follow their steps to the letter and you get a very similar result. And it's because their lines aren't perfectly straight or measured out or, you know, even. And I really like that approach. It's very, um, like, no stress, no pressure, just easy, easy, easy drawing. And it's nice. I think a book like this would be really excellent as a warm-up book. Um, so like when you approach a, a sketch or a piece of art, uh, what you really should do uh, ahead of time is give yourself some time to warm up your hand and your hand muscles and um, just because there is a lot of muscle memory in our hands after we've drawn for a while so that kind of builds up but if you haven't drawn for like a few days let's say then it kind of needs a little bit of a wake up so um, it's very good to do a little sketch or I don't know some kind of doodle just to get your I'm gonna make it this color whatever this is this is a uh, du duo color or tri oh, it's a tricolor tricolor pencil from I don't even know. Oh, Koinor. Um, anyway, it's good to do a little warm up for your hands so that you, any kind of errors you make will be on the sketch and not on your final piece. And I think a book like this would be like super perfect for that. So, yeah. Just gonna finish up these pink flowers. So I guess my camera uh, lost some of that footage again. I really need to figure that out or get a proper vlogging camera or something. But um, what I was saying was I didn't want the leaves to look as blue as this green on the table. So I actually layered these two a couple of times to get more of that balanced yellow green. And then for the pot, I picked up this tritone Koinor um, pencil, which is really cool. You can only really pick up on the purple, but that's fine. And then I was saying that this pink pencil that I used for the flowers, uh, I really should get rid of these because I got them with a pencil case that I bought many years ago, and they're just not a very good quality. They're a hard lead, and they're not very pigmented. So it's very hard to get uh, a nice color out of them. And yeah, so I guess that's what we came up with for today's um, couple pages. Uh, we got our hutch or china cabinet or whatever you wanna call it. And then our table and chairs. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next episode of 50 Ways to Draw Your Beautiful Ordinary Life. Um, and thank you again to Chantel for this book. It's really, really cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!